Buckle up because their bags and baggage are packed. Ultimate Girl Trip is a hit because can anyone not stop rewatching the same four episodes? Okay, Evan, but have you heard the theme song? Oh, I've, I've heard it. I have tried to memorize it. You know, like, Housewives to the Island, baby. You know, we're gonna party, baby. Virtual reality. I'm Danny. And I'm Evan. And Evan, are you ready to dive into island time with me? Oh, I am more than ready. Let's go to the beach, baby. Oh, I mean, Christmas came early, or every single holiday at once came early for Bravo fans because we got Ultimate Girls Trip coming at us hot. Every day I wake up, I feel like I check my phone, no longer checking the news. I check Peacock to see if a new episode came out because they just appear now. Oh my God, what a blessing, but also so much so much to digest. Like I am completely full of Housewives drama. I don't really know how to process it. It's all I care about. It's all I think about Ultimate Girls Trip. Ultimate Girls Trip is so good because it's all the heavy hitters. And I love too, my favorite thing about Housewives is they, the seasons end, but the drama never ends. They never really get over a lot of the drama that goes on. Oh, she claims to be my friend. That's not a thing. And one of my favorite uh, rehashes that went down on Ultimate Girls Trip so far was Luann and Bethany, who Bethany, I'm sure has her Google alert set and I'm waiting for her response to this. She can't help herself. It's one of those things. I mean, we all know she's a grudge holder. So you're saying that Bethany should have told you first, like, hey, I have this, obviously. No, it was hard. I mean, it broke my heart. Like, that's like a best friend, friend. yeah. Well, she yeah. claims to be my friend. That's not a thing. This whole Bethany Luann situation on Ultimate Girls Trip really had me thinking, Maybe it was kind of crappy of Bethany to bring up the Tom drama on camera, but wasn't she just doing her job? I mean, we would never have the iconic what about Tom if she never did that. Exactly, and I need to start drinking alcohol. I mean, it really did bring the moment. And then also like, I love that Lou is suddenly a person. She's like, I would never <laughs> cause any drama to my friends. So it's like, Lou, have you seen what you do? Like, baby girl, we gotta call it spade here. That whole conversation at the brunch table was so interesting because they all kept talking about like how other housewives have burned them on the show and how they wouldn't have done that. But I just don't think that's the case. I think a lot of these women have done exactly what they were accusing their friends of doing. But do you know what was really great was when they were talking about Jacqueline and Teresa and how Jacqueline brought up legal drama. And Teresa's like, Kyle, you would never do that right here, Erica. Uh, did you watch the last season of Beverly Hills, Teresa? Speaking of Teresa, I love, I'm really loving her on this trip. I feel like she's kind of having a lot more fun than I've seen her have recently. And her and Melissa, you put them together too long, they start talking about christenings, contracts, and every other C word you could possibly think of. Because I love that they thought about how Melissa joined originally 10 years ago. It's still happening. Well, I just chatted with Melissa and she was telling me that this is the feud that will never die. Andy called me and said, your sister-in-law won't stop DMing me. She wants to get on no, the show. I never DM'd him. That's what I'm telling you. They, that's what he said to me. So take it up with him. He's out there. No matter what happened, I, I don't know if Melissa slid into Andy's DMs, but I loved hearing about it. I love I love the idea of Melissa hitting up Andy Cohen on Facebook because I don't even think Instagram was a thing at the time of her casting. Like, hi Andy, like, here I am. Like, I also, I too live in Franklin Lakes and I would love a spot on the show. Like I, whatever internet conversations they allegedly had, I would like to see them. No, yeah, Melissa just put Andy in her top eight on MySpace and was like, now a change is gonna come. Joe, get the cameras ready to roll. And I mean, I mean, Teresa, Melissa's great on the show. So I feel she can't even front or complain about it because I love them together. And I do love too when Teresa's like, I would never say anything bad about anybody I like. Remember when she called her a stripper for a year? But I guess they didn't like each other then. The only two constants in life that fluctuate are my weight and Melissa's friendship with Teresa because every month I'm just like, whoa, it's so different now. What's ha where, where are we? What's happening? And I keep coming back for more and I do blame the sprinkle cookie. So I'm with Teresa on that side. Well, also Ramona and Kenya is the other Ultimate Girls trip feud that I cannot get enough of. I don't know how the combination of the singer Stinger and oh. Shady Miss Kenya is just, it is so electric. It is so, uh, I just, I mean, give me more. Give, yeah, I need all the Kenya more. And I love to because on New York, they're really, people try, like Leah tries her best to kind of like push back at Ramona but only to a certain point. And then, because everyone in New York is kind of like, oh, Ramona's like, you know, my mom, or like, I love, like, we're sisters, everything like that. Kenya does not know this woman. Kenya does not give a 
about Ramona Singer and she's gonna let her know what she feels about her. And I love and I loved her blow up with her on the private jet and I cannot wait for them to feud even more. I wonder how things will end. I, well, I also wonder how things will end with Ramona and Bravo and everything in general, because did you see just this week, people are getting, Bravo fans are getting so mad at her for taking off her mask at a Broadway uh, show. And on top of that, she was in the front row, which what a waste of a ticket, and then kept on putting her drink on the stage. That report was so wild to me. I kind of wish Andy and a camera crew were there to capture it because I don't know, even though Ramona, you're right, she, she's losing fans left and right, but it's kind of, the train wreck of the Ramona coaster is so interesting to watch oh. for me. I love the idea of her setting her drink on the stage. Can you imagine if you were one of the performers? If I was playing Princess Diana on Broadway, there would be nothing, nothing ladylike, nothing Diana-esque about me if I was just focused on Ramona and her drink on my stage. Yeah, and I mean, I'm happy that the people in the audience had the Ramona show to watch because the, the reviews of the Diana musical, uh, you probably are looking at the audience now because it is not that good. Oh, will she ever learn? And um, speaking of people who might never learn, Miss Jennifer Shaw uh, is the subject. ABC's legal team is really going all bravo because did you see the trailer for The Housewife and The Shaw Shocker? The whole time she was filming the show, law enforcement was investigating her. I don't know if she knew that she was going to be arrested that day. I am so pumped. The opening of the trailer, ain't no party like a Jen Shaw party. Like I'm oh. ready to attend this party. I will not be tardy for this party. I will be very much on time for this party. I cannot wait because the first Erica Jane documentary was so good. I'm sure this one is just going to be equally as wonderful. And Dana Wilkie makes another appearance. So you know it's going to be good. You know, if the check clears, Dana Wilkie will appear. And that is really what she is doing. She is now um, the Elle Woods of ABC Housewife uh, legalities. And I think this one is going to go even deeper because obviously, well, for Bravo fans, the Erica Jane documentary, we just were like, OK, Tom and then Erica. This is all Shaw. <laughs> It's all Shaw all the time. I can't wait. But Evan, you know what I need slash want slash demand a documentary on? What? The rumor that Kelly Ben Simone, the ex Roni icon, is maybe flirting, dating A Rod. You talked to her lately, right? I talked to her last month before we reported that she and A Rod started a flirty text relationship. And what she told me at the time is that she was looking for athletic, fun. Yeah. Sounds like Prince Charming. So she may have found him in A-Rod, but do you know what's so weird, Danny, is I feel like this is a fever dream. Like I feel like I've heard this before, or maybe I just had a psychic inclination about A-Rod and Kelly. I don't know, it feels, it feels familiar. I don't know if it feels right though. What kills me about the situation is that Kelly's rep confirmed to us that they've been texting, that they've been having a lot of fun, going back and forth, talking about real estate, because as we know, Kelly is now this real estate, Mogul yeah, and uh, A-Rod is a real estate investor himself. So they've been connecting over real estate. And I also love, can I say that like, A-Rod's a real estate investor. He's rich, but he just he just buys houses. But I love that all, every rich person's like, no, I'm an investor for real estate. It's like, you just have a lot of money, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So they've been chatting about real estate. Both their reps confirmed that to us, but A-Rod's rep was like, it was only about real estate. It was Ooh. never flirty. Like. The mess of it all is amazing. And you're right, I do need a documentary to break it down and interview everyone, Team A-Rod, everyone, Team Kelly, and figure out what is going on. Well, and also, A-Rod has a thing for Bravo celebrities. Yes, he does. Lest we forget the Madison of it all, because yeah. that felt like a fever dream in itself. And I really love that, like, in the same week, J-Lo's in this new movie coming out that actually looks really cute and fun with Owen Wilson and then it runs in the headlines with Kelly Ben Simone. So there's always a winner and a loser in breakups, just so you all know. All right, so if you have not watched Ultimate Girls Trip yet, we highly recommend that you do. Oh yeah, and every time someone gets naked, maybe you should take a shot. And if you're only watching Ramona, you will be floored. I mean, I feel like I've seen every inch of the New York ladies and all I need to know is who is next on this cast that will just show it all. I'm kind of feeling like it could be our girl, Melissa. And if I had her body, I'd be doing the same, yes. Mm -hmm. So let us know who you want to see naked. Just kidding. Actually, just let us know what you think of Ultimate Girl's shirt. <laughs>